coming to the history of Trinity. He said, Triune God. What is Triune God? Meaning, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. These three are in one. They are not three, they are one. And he gave a beautiful example. What was the example? He said, if I say, my mother and father are one. Or some example he gave, to prove two personalities as one. I didn't give a year to it because it was not a very important example. Commonly quoted example. I can give hundred more than he can give me. Because the nature is the same in every apologetic. Father and mother are one. How many personalities when I say father and mother? One person or two person? Two. Sure? I said all Indians are one. What does it mean? Personality wise we are different or personality wise we are one? Geographically we are all Indians, we are one. We follow the same law of the land, we are proud to be Indians for it. Geographically, ideologically we are one. Personality wise, different. So he said, See, every point I can't do it because we have our chief guest from the Sakshi who is a lawyer. I am not a lawyer so I can't pick up every point to have a discussion like a lawyer in a courtroom. But whatever were his important confusions and doubts, to put it to the right place, I would like to give an example. I am sure Jerry will understand it very easily. See, in my school days, when I was in school, we were taught the principle of board mass. What is the principle of board mass? If you want to solve any problem in mathematics, you should apply the principle of board mass. What is board mass? Brackets of division, multiplication, addition and subtraction. For example, if I give an equation, 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to how much? So to solve it, you will have to apply board mass. What is board mass? Brackets of division, multiplication, addition and subtraction. If this rule you apply, the answer will come right. If you say 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to how much? Everybody knows it. But if I say 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 1, I am applying board mass or not? No, I give a wrong answer. So he wants the entire world to believe that the God the Father, God the Holy Ghost and God the Son, 1 plus 1 plus 1 is not 3 but it is 1. Are these the same? This is what he wants to prove. The Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost. These three are not three, they are only one. Even if every human being becomes an Einstein of the time, they can't solve this problem. <laughs> Nobody can solve it. One plus one plus one is not three, it is one. So, to make it convenient for Brother Jerry, I have decided to give him a principle of religious board mass. And if he applies the principle of religious board mass, I assure all of you and him, if he applies the principle of religious board mass, he will immediately come from there here and he will say, Imran Bhai, all my faith in Christianity has fallen down to utter ruin. And all my questions on Islam, they are solved by myself. Because for the first time in my life, I applied the principle of religious board mass. But all of you would love to know what is religious board mass. Religious board mass means, Religious blindness of dogmas minus apply scripture. B blindness, O is off, D dogmas, M is minus, A apply, S is scripture. Religious blindness of dogmas minus apply scripture. If he starts applying scripture, I challenge him, he cannot prove divinity of Jesus from the scripture. If he tries to prove it, he will have to for his lifetime solve the problems in the Bible of contradictions then. And he said, I should not give my interpretation. He was quoting IREF website, calling to Islam, IREF website. Wallah, what Imran says, what IREF says, or what anybody else says, is zero in Islam. But if I say from Quran and Hadith, that is most valuable. Similarly, 
what tom and tom dick and jerry says is zero i want what jesus himself said about this subject lifetime challenge show me in the words of jesus not three hours two hours challenge lifetime show me in the words of jesus where he said i am god or where he said worship me and he quoted matthew chapter number 19 verse number 16 17 where he said from my book i quoted in the bible and i said that according to the bible jesus said why callest thou me good there is none good but one that is god so he wants me to understand and believe that in the other verses further he says i have glorified you o god so now you should glorify me i am equal to god and he quoted john 17:3 and 4 and he said verse number 5 says jesus says o god glorify me like you who should glorify jesus man or god jesus is praying the god and saying god i glorified you you also glorify me is it sounding sense that god will say oh mankind i am the god and this jesus is my god how there is an ayat in the quran in surah nisa surah number 4 ayat number 80 80 where allah said whosoever obeys allah he obeys muhammad rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam does that mean muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is allah subhanahu wa taala allah subhanahu wa taala said in the glorious quran in surah nashra wa rafa'na laka zikrak o prophet we have raised your zikr high in esteem and in every azan we say allah akbar allah is the greatest does that mean muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and allah are equal it doesn't mean that 